Hello everybody, and I'm back on another episode, and today I will not be joined with anyone. Yeah, it's a shocker. But, um, so you may be thinking, whoa, 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 what is that in your hand right now? Well, what that is, is a Cabalt Shield. So you may be thinking, wait a second, you went to the dungeon? No, yes I did, but not this dungeon, a uh, other dungeon on a other world. So, because you know, I wanted, this is what the episode is going to be about. That's why you clicked on the video, but, um, off camera, um, I have now fixed this place up, let's go, get in there, um, and it's only a 2% chance of this happening, but I got the party girl, which is really good, and so, well, um, you know, she sells stuff, like I got a bubble th machine, I also got a bubble sword, doesn't do anything except for make bubbles, like, not even any damage. And so, um, you may be angry that I did that off camera, so I'm going to fight him on this episode, because, you know, that's why you chose to watch this episode, and I will try, and I will try to do an awesome challenge, and that is to not use, one second, um, to not use any healing things. Hopefully I don't. If I do, um, I can't really think of a punishment, but, so, off camera in the other dungeon, I found some things, and also off camera, the, the wandering merchant arrived, and what he gave me was pretty cool. He gave, um, I bought from him a ultra bright, ultra bright torch, which is a torch that is ultra bright. Actually, I should. I kind of want to test it out right now and see. Yeah, it seems ultra bright. Yep. Yep, it definitely goes by its name. And I got a lot, so. Well, you. Um, I only have 49 with me, but I also have 99 as well, but I don't. I didn't want to use it all. And I think I got some regular torches with me. Yeah, I got like 99 regular torches, so. And I think we got enough space to do stuff. Yeah. Oh, this is where the other meteorite landed. I never came over here to see it. All right. Well, that's the at least that's not a spot that is a problem. If it was on top of my house, then that would have been a problem. Uh oh. Time to get my. Ultra bright torch out. Do, 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 do. Running into all the vines. What well, thorns it is, actually. So, yeah, they were busy. I can't. Um, can't do anything about that. So, they're, no one's gonna be commentating this episode. And so, by the way, I figured out what I'm going to play next, and it is going to be dun 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 Five Nights at Freddy's. The only thing I need is a screen recording device for my, um, because yes, I will not be playing it on, on my computer, because I have Steam, but I don't really feel like getting it on Steam. That's why I bought it on my... On my whoa, um, on my other, on my tablet. So that's what I'm going to use to play it. Only problem is, you know, no, I don't have a screen recording device. So hopefully it works. If not. And there's going to be a problem. What Jarvis said on the episode where I got the ice thing, the ice sword, um, he said it looks cool when I have a torch when spinning. It looks really cool when I have an ultra torch or whatever. Oh no, it's raining. Alright. Alright, let's do this. 
Alright, so, challenge now. And so, I looked him up and stuff, and he actually gives some pretty good weapons. He didn't give anything when I was fighting him, but you could get some pretty good weapons from him. I just don't have... I Like, when I fought him, I didn't get it, because that one was a jerk. Um... So hopefully this one works well, and he gives me some good items. Hey, that was that was mean. That was very mean what you did there. You mean, mean Skeletron. No! Ah. Come on, just destroy one of the hands at least. Come on, my bees! More than halfway dead. Supposed to be protecting me, bees. Nope, you're not gonna slap me. Nope. Nope. Oh, you slapped me. Did you just slap me? You jerk. You do not slap people without their per without their permission, Skeletron. He's about to die anyways. But it's good to have the arms away from him. Makes them le less lethal to attacks. Yes! Alright, let's, let's try to go mostly on the hands. Let's try to destroy that. Or, wait, should I beat him with the hands? I don't know if that's a better way of how to beat him. Hey, stupid little demon eye. Shouldn't be in this fight. Dead. Alright. Book of Skulls, yes! Really good weapon I needed. I could shoot at skulls from this. See how much damage it does. Let's test that on him. Oh, I didn't get to. Eh, who cares? There's a zombie there. You can see. Average speed, weak knockback, uses 22 mana. Ooh, 22 mana. Well, at least they kind of provide some light. Actually, I should have one of these as a torch. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I went checking out the last cave. And it was a pink cave. Hopefully this one has better things, but, um, um, what I saw was that there was, the music's different, there's a lot of bad guys, lots and lots of deaths. Well, I didn't die a lot of times, but, um, sounds like, it, it looks like there's gonna be lots and lots of deaths. Literally, there's so many bad guys here, it's not even funny. Oh, and these guys are the worst. They do major damage. Especially when he goes into the darker worlds where there's darker parts where they... Um, well, no, the... When the background changes and the walls, you know something's going to happen because the, usually the bad guys... I thought I brought... Darn it, I forgot to bring... Darn it, I thought I had it with me. Eh, yeah, whatever. I From the last adventure, I got like, um... 20 in total, because the dungeon spawn, um, slimes spawn so commonly that you, you just find them everywhere, and so you get so many of them, so many coins, I mean, so many, um, what am I thinking, dungeon slimes, so you get so many of those things, but hopefully it's the same thing happening down over here, you can also get them a lot from, uh, from chests. I, I like the bee sword. It, it, they get so confused, it's hilarious. Alright, so what do you got? The ac actuator enables solid blocks to be triggered on and off. Oh, that's awesome! I should make that for like my door. Just walking into the ground. But it should be like over the ground, because if I do that, then zombies can easily walk in. And then everything goes bad. Well, I don't think I had to heal at all. I, no, I didn't heal at all. 
gun. Yeah, you blow up. Also, pots carry, carry. Um. Whoa, that was that was a close one right there. Pots carry <clears throat> keys. So hopefully, I find some. And I've got some good items over here. Like um, where are they? Oh yeah, once I got myself um. Hmm. I'm still thinking about it. There's a lot of things. I got a lot of paintings and stuff. And you're probably thinking right now, this is a really boring cave. Oh, it's probably going to get a lot worse when we go to the different backgrounds. Because the background, I think, has already changed. I wasn't really paying attention. Probably already has. But basically, when the background change, be aware. Be very aware. Because you can die. And there's traps everywhere. Oh, there's a painting. Oh, I have that painting. I got that from the last one. And what I think is really cool about this, which I think is awesome, is that um, the bad guys vary from each part. But that's only for... Oh, the background has already changed. Um, um, doesn't... Um, it varies for each part in hard mode, not in easy mode. Sorry, correction on that. I feel weird kind of just leaving all these chests behind. Oh, yeah, and, um, you gotta watch out for these candles. You gotta break them when you can, because what it does is up here it says the water candle. Basically what it does is it brings unwanted attention. For instance, the bad guys spawn a lot more common. You know, they can do that. The jerks. Whoops, clicked on the wrong button. Maybe I should turn it up a little. So, oh, I, I got two golden keys with me. Um, wait, where's my thorns potion? Thorns potion! Cobalt shield. Yeah, you get... Yeah, you die from that. It's hard to tell if you get a gold key, because it never highlights the... the name of the gold key. Like, usually rare items do that, but... This isn't really that rare of an item, so they don't do that. And I have found some of the biome keys in the other one. But you know, I haven't found any here because uh, we're not in the more evil area yet. Trust me, things might be getting a lot worse later on, as I would say. Oh, sorry. That was my boom beach going on. I think it's my... Uh, I forgot what upgraded, but... Oh, it was my stone storage, I think. I really like this um, gun. Because one, first of all, it uses mana. Two, it, you know, finds its enemies and destroys them. That's the best part about it. Hmm. Bees! Ooh, there's a key down there. Up, 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 up. Skull power. Oh, that does some. That does a decent amount of damage for just a skull. All right. And so I've seen that some of these paintings have ac are actually from other things, like, um, for instance, the scream, the screaming man, or whatever. Um, there's actually a picture of him that you can get. Obviously, it doesn't look exactly like the Screaming Man, because then it'd probably be copyright or something like that, but... 
It's close to it. All right, so we got our first chest that we opened up. And what do we get? We get an unple oh, an unpleasant aqua scepter. Doesn't that mean it's bad then? If it's unpleasant, that that means it's bad. Throw the dynamite over there for no apparent reason. Whoa, we got the clothier voodoo doll. You are a terrible person. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm a very, very terrible person. Don't mess with me. <laughs> so, what exploded down here? Nothing? Okay. Oh, it was a trap that exploded. Good thing for me. Grass shelf. If only my inventory was in full, then I could actually use some of this stuff. Oh yeah, we got one of the rare items, the Bone Scepter. Uh, I'll just leave the paintings behind, we're running kind of low on inventory space. Gotta watch out for that. Oh, I think the background changed again. I can tell because there's more skulls and stuff. <gasps> A piano! I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. What do I not need? I do not need a, uh, the. I do not need that. Give me the piano. This place is very, very evil. You gotta watch out for a lot of things that happen. Because, um, they can catch you off guard most of the time. Does it kinda end here? No, it can't end here. Gotta go. Oh, I just found one of the biome chests. Yes, it's the frozen biome chest. Hey, the background changed again. Well, at least we know where the frost chest is. I, I think I should put, like, a note somewhere. Nah, I'll just... Yeah, this, this thing's really good, although it uses mana. Like a lot of it. Time to make some more torches. Whoa. That that blew up in slow motion. That was cool. Oh, we got a golden key. Oh look at that. Another chest. A deadly handgun. That's that's actually really good, but not what I need. Sorry, handgun, but we're probably gonna need you for another time. So you're gonna stay there and rot. Sorry for the inconvenience. Ooh, a vase. Ha! Ah, yeah, you go the opposite direction. Beekeeper is so cool. Not only does it spawn bees, it just makes them completely confused and they go the opposite direction. It's hilarious. What's this? Night Owl Potion? Danger Sense? Allows you to see nearby danger sources. Drink that too. Um, so, I think this place will lead to some... Yeah, see? Dungeon Sign. Literally, I've seen like um, two to three dungeon signs at once when exploring the other dungeon. Danger sense. If only I could find a splunker potion. I think that's how you pronounce it. So then I could see all the chests that are in the dungeon that I might be missing. You know, you might, you might miss a miss a giant chest that's in front of your face. Oh, a corruption chest. Good. I think that's a corruption, the corruption chest. Eh, whatever. But I can use that for a later time, but I can't use it, do it now, because I got to, because I can't, I, I don't have the key for it. And trust me, the key is very, very difficult to get. I would say even more difficult than getting, uh, what's its name? A banner. Jumping knight uh, potion. Literally, it's, it wants to torture you. That's how evil it is. And I stepped on that, thinking it was some kind of special thing. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious.
Oh. Nope. I'm not gonna die. No. Yeah. Ah, oh, that was fast. It's in here. Aqua Scepter. Oh, I don't need that Aqua Scepter. I'll keep that in there. Bees. I like how they kind of just stop whatever they're doing, like what direction, and then they go straight towards the bad guys. Like wait, 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 we gotta, we gotta destroy them. Those weird, those things kind of creep me out. Those weird things. They kind of remind me of the Hunchback of Notre Dame. There we go. Thirty-six. What's in this one? Oh no, we ran out. We ran out. We ran out of keys. Need more keys. Need more keys. Huh. I, I got a good idea. It's probably gonna be funny. Gold well, good thing I got a recall potion with me. I didn't even bring one. Ow. I'm getting beat up by stuff. Oh yeah, I just used the healing potion right now because the challenge was not to go through the cave without using it. It was just to beat the boss. Great, time to leave the chest behind again. Hopefully there's one in this chest. Sometimes you can find these lying around and Booyah! That's exactly what I was thinking of. Use that gravitation potion. So now I can... Now I'll make this place look like a real maze. Oh no! The gravity is switching. Ooh. Oh no! Look at that! I'm upside down! What am I going to do? This place is awesome, especially upside down. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Healing potion. Oh no, the gravity is switching again. Oh no. I have to get through this place without dying. This is fun. Alright, what's in here? Agile Aqua Scepter. Oh, a Bone Welder. Well, I got enough anyway, so don't need that. Um, do I need the Bone Welder? Well, what do I not need to begin with? I don't think I need this. Actually, I should just put the suspicious looking eye in here. Uh oh, the gravity's switching again. Oh, look, the hollow chest. That's good. It's very good. All right, so I'm upside down now. They're probably looking at me like, what the heck is wrong with this person? Why is he upside down? Yeah, you go the opposite direction. You... The... Thing. Oh, uh oh. Whoop. Although my teleportation potion thing kind of has some bugs in it. Like, it kind of teleports you up a little when you go back down. Well, alright. Well, what's going on right now is weird. I am upside down. It feels weird trying to get used to it, because you're going upside down and then you go back up. It's fun. No. No. There we go. Oh! The, the forest. Forest key. Obviously, I need the forest key to make the, to open that, but I don't have it because you know it's a hard mode thing. Whoop! It's going back to its, it's going up back upside down. What's over here? Actually, the gravitation potion is going to end soon. Might as well use it as much as I can. All right. 
I really do not get anything that's going on right now. This is actually quite easy. You can just fly, be right above them and just start shooting, shooting them like crazy. Oh, three, two, one. Oh no, it, back, it went back to normal. Oh no. No, not, no, no, Genio, Genio. How are you gonna do that? Silly Genio. Is that another forest chest? I think I already went here. I think I already went here, yeah. Well, this place is fun. Especially when you have a gravitation potion. It really makes it a dungeon. You got a gravitation potion with you. You know, someone should make a map where you have to use the gravitation potion. Like, um, where you have to use it to get into certain areas. And, like, some areas you don't even know are there. Godly Murashama. Don't need that one anymore. I'll take the godly Murashama. Murashama. I like to call it that. Sounds like the murder shop. I, I don't know how to say it. I really do not know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Murasama. Uh, whatever. Good thing I opened that chest, but I'm probably missing out on a lot of other chests I could have got if I if I was if I brought the torches with me. Oh man, I'm bored again. I wanna get I wanna get another gravitational potion. Is there a gravitation potion in there? Secret wall. Ooh, an invisibility potion. Um Well that looks kinda cool. You can you can only see me, but they can still see me. That's a lose lose. It's a lose lose. See, I told you this was was gonna happen. Where like five thousand monsters start attacking me, and I got nothing to change that. I'm an invisible monster. Can can I join? Can't I join into the dungeon? I could be a boss, the dungeon boss. Like there's a dungeon entrance boss, but there's not a dungeon boss. Well, there is a a dungeon mini boss. And now I'm just rambling on about nothing right now. Or is... Wait. Why is his, the, the skeleton body upside down? Is he hanged from his legs? Or am I just stuck upside down forever? You gotta think about that stuff. Skull power! Skull powers, activate! See, that this is the problem with this. See, I got that um, water torch right next to me, and that's why it's bringing unwanted attention, as they say. Gravitation potion! Yes! Yes, so we can mess around some more with the, po with the potions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh my... I actually did that on purpose. Yeah, you go the opposite way. Oh man, why do I keep on running into them? You walk on those spikes of death. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh oh, upside down again. Um, okay, gotta do this. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-oh. Gravitational potion. If I made, like, a top ten potions list, it'd probably be at, like, number two or something. Because I, I really like this potion. Oh! Oh, bop, bop. Bop, 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 Stay back. So I got my bees. So, gravitational potion is fun because everything's upside down right now. I wasn't even paying attention. It's already 30 minutes into the video.
Wow, I wasn't even looking at the clock this whole time. I'm going to stay completely still like this. This is fun. I'm probably messing with your minds right now. This is a real maze. Whoa. 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 Oh, no, 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 no. I'm messing with your minds. Bees. This is actually really fun. You should try this out. All you gotta do is get a bee gun. You gotta get a gravitational potion. And you gotta watch out because, you know, it might run out. A meteorite has landed. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not, that's not good. It's not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Uh oh. Well, hopefully I teleport back home. Um, hello? Hello? Well, see you later. Goodbye. <laughs> Yet again, this problem.